you ever wonder what happens to uh, palm trees when they get uh, chopped down and cut up? Well, these were a year ago. These were 40 foot queen palms. And um, to leave the, the pieces, the cut pieces to one side, if you don't want to take them to the waste area and you have room to store them in for a year, well, they're extremely heavy because they're full of water when they're green and upright and they're um, a tree that, um, a palm tree that's still alive and well, it's full of water. A year later, if you let it sit, you could see that these trees are all strands. If you look inside, you could see the strands. And not only that, they become paper light, ball super, super, super light. And, uh, that's what happens to them. They lose their moisture, lose their water. Of course, they're uh, they're not no longer alive. So uh, you want to let them sit for a uh, for a while. It's going to cost you an arm and a leg to take them to the green waste because green waste charge you by the ton, by the pound, what have you. And again, you know, you start removing these, you let them sit for minimum of nine months to a year. And if you got a burn pit, just put, throw them in the burn pit and. Um, even better. You know, they'll burn right up. It's all strands because it goes up in uh, flames in no time. There you go. The history of the uh, queen palm after they're cut down and a year later, you basically got balsa wood.